These are PA and lateral radiographs of the chest in an 18-year-old female presenting with retching chest pain. Uh, looking at the radiographs themselves, we don't see any obvious abnormality, but on more careful inspection, we do see some foci of air outlining the aortic arch right here. Uh, in addition, we see some subcutaneous emphysema along the right chest wall here, and also here tracking up into the neck. If we look at the lateral radiograph, uh, we can definitely see air outlining both the anterior and posterior borders of the heart. And this extends uh, cranially as well. So these findings are consistent with pneumomediastinum. Uh, this is an important diagnosis to make. Uh, a CT of the chest was then recommended and revealed an esophageal perforation. Uh, the findings of pneumomediastinum can be very subtle on radiography. Uh, oftentimes, the diagnosis is better assessed on the lateral view with seeing air outlining the, as the anterior and posterior aspects of the heart. Uh, one should also look for pneumomediastinum outlining some of the other mediastinal structures such as the aortic arch here. Uh, and a lot of times one of the clues is you see pneumomediastinum tracking into the neck and the chest wall as we see in this case. So that can be a great help to see if there is pneumomediastinum. One should also uh, think about what ca can cause pneumomediastinum. Certainly uh, the Macklin effect or alveolar rupture with air dissecting into the interstitium and then into the mediastinum can be a cause for uh, spontaneous pneumothorax. Otherwise, in the setting of trauma, esophageal or tracheal rupture can certainly cause pneumomediastinum, among other ideologies.